welcome to yet another episode of It's Not About Cooking. Today, let me take you through a royal tour of Avadi cuisine. Avadi cuisine is from the city of Lucknow and Lucknowi cuisine bears similarities to those of Persia, Kashmir, Punjab and Hyderabad and the city is known for its Nawabi foods. Kebabs are an integral part of Avadi cuisine and Lucknow is proud of its kebabs. The Sikh kebab was originally prepared from beef mince on skewers and cooked on charcoal fire. Now lamb mince is preferred for its soft texture. The kakuri kebab is made from minced mutton and other ingredients include khoya, white pepper and a mix of powdered spices that remain secret. The vegetarians needn't be disappointed because there are a host of vegetarian varieties in kebabs also. Kormas are one of the signature dishes of Avadi cuisine. Even though kormas are rich, they are also mild, containing little or no chilies. There are both vegetarian kormas like the Navratan korma and non-vegetarian which is made of chicken, lamb, beef or fish. The Murg Avadi kurma is a classic from Lucknow. The Lucknowi biryani is world famous and rightly so because this version of the biryani has perfectly cooked meat, rice and a homogeneous flavour of aromatic meat broth aromatic spices and sweet flavors. Wheat is the staple crop of the region and hence bread varieties are consumed by all. Chapatis, puris, paratas, romali roti, tandoori roti, naan are the basic bread varieties that are commonly consumed. How can we leave out chaat when we talk about Lucknowi cuisine? Chaat and samosa were originated in Uttar Pradesh but now are popular nationwide and abroad. These are the integral part of street foods across India and many other chaats like dahi vada, alu tikki are originally from Lucknow. Halwa is the most popular dessert of Avadi cuisine. Even though halwa is quite common all over India, the halwas are prepared richly with different cereals such as gram flour, suji, wheat, nuts and eggs. So that was royal Avadi cuisine for you. Make sure you try them out and pamper your taste buds. I'll be back next episode with another mouth-watering cuisine. Until then, keep watching. It's not about cooking.